One of the biggest problems with these older stereos <clears throat> is that they don't have really good connectors on the back and it's really hard to get these wires in here and there's also the chance of like having them short out and I'll show you why here in a second. So they use these here. Now I know there's RCAs so these are just really pain. Um, so what I need to do is actually put spade connectors. So you have whatever the Q is. Um, use only 8 to 16 ohm speakers. Connect to pin, jack, or screw terminals, but not both. See instruction manual for ohm, for ohm speaker use. Um, so, anyway, these, they come off real easy. Now, the terminals on one of these are soldered, so they're kind of a pain, but, um, I mean, they're nice connectors, but unless you have a spade on the end of it, they do have, you know, locating pins that you can kind of put a wire through, but they don't come up high enough, um, so... These are the A and B in the rear, and I don't know what the QVox is, but they're talking about also the, um, let's see, what does it say? It says, connect to the pin jack or screw terminals. Like, I guess this one right here. I mean, but well, that'd be pretty simple if that's what it was, because then I could just hook up some RCAs and, uh, solder some RCAs on the end here but I think I have plenty of terminals so what I'll do is just uh, crimp some on here I guess really don't know what I did with my wire crimpers but I got these so these are automatic wire strippers I've never really had uh, much luck with these I got these here too um, so I don't know, these are probably fine. They have these little wire. There's actually, the blue wire in the center is actually another wire. So, believe it or not, now these are, these, each one of these actually could, could carry another channel. There's literally another wire. I don't know why they do that. Um, if you know why, th let me know. These are um, Monster XP Compact Precision Stranded Ultra High Resolution Speaker Wire with LPE D Electric. I think that's what it says. Let's see. Compact Standard. Ultra high resolution. I can't read it because it's worn off. <clears throat> Compact precision stranded ultra high resolution speaker cable with LPE D electric. Anyway, I don't know if these really even work that well. I've never had any luck with this kind of stuff. I think I'm just going to leave it be. So, I'm going to look inside of here and see what we got. These are Harbor Fruit. Um, problem with these is, like, how come they can't ever make, like, some other colors? I think these are going to be a little too small, and then the other ones are going to be a little too big. And we need to see, because there's two kinds, there's this kind, I guess there's actually uh, three sizes in this one. so. It's that size and this size. 
And then there's another one. Oh, well, maybe it's the same. Anyway, let's see which one fits the best. Okay. This one, like, almost fits, but not quite. All right, so I'm just gonna put these on here. And there's a crimper on here of some such. It's good enough. I just, I don't wanna spend all day doing this. This is why I decided to just stick them in there and be done with it. Nope, oh, that's the wrong size. So this thing actually works really well. I, I like these kind that do that better than the other kind because they really, they really, really press it down. So now we can just take them and we want to orientate them a certain way where they're less likely to make contact with each other. So what I like to do is just leave the wires on this particular radio because um, I don't like switching them on the back here at all. So these are already crimped, um, I mean soldered, so I need to cut them down a little bit. And they probably won't go in very easily, let's we'll see, I may have to Too much solder. Doesn't want to go in. All right. So we're about to find out if these actually work. Okay. So I guess stick the damn thing in there like that. Yeah, it didn't work. Yeah, I guess it worked good enough. Pretty good. I'm actually surprised. Oh, we got the wrong size again. Okay. It doesn't quite want to grab. It's like, um, there's kind of some. Oh, I hope I didn't accidentally do like that. There's extra plastic in here. So it looks like there's another little layer of plastic around that. So, pretty interesting stuff. Okay. Got that there. Now we can come up to the bottom here. I don't even know if I put these on here correctly. I didn't even think about it. Where is that's positive? These are on backwards. 
You know, I can never decide what, you know, to identify these with. So usually I just put, like, the writing side as the negative. I used to put, like, markers all over them and stuff. But I don't like doing that no more. Okay. So the downside to this is that they want to point down towards the bottom in order to stay in there properly, which means they can get caught on stuff, which is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. So we got the negative one right here. It's got the writing on it. Put it down in here. So that is how I like to do these. I mean, they're just cheap crimps, but you know, there's unlikely that they're gonna come loose. They got these little pins here. So, now if they bend forward, they can, so. Anyway, I, I, I really don't like these kind of connectors. I also don't really care for soldering RCAs, and I don't have any um, special RCA connectors to really even do that anyways, so. Um, I'm just looking at this, like, what the hell happened here? This thing here is pulled out. I seem to remember dealing with this before. It's a great idea, but what happens is the cord, it's supposed to act as an antenna, but you now we've got this problem here. And I've pulled this board out of here before just to try and repair this. And I don't remember what the issue was, but obviously it went bad again.